Hello, everybody. This is John Bane. I want to welcome you to Ark Survival Evolved. Hopefully, you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't want to forget to remind you guys to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens. Because today, we are going to make the stuff happen with the stable. We're going to finish it up. It's going to look nice and smexy. And um, I'm happy with it so far. I did end up pushing the walls up taller. But it's, it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, we, you need to go do some other things, too, here eventually, too. But I want to at least get the basic stable up for the, our gatherers. That's what this is about. So, you know, we got it rid, Paul. You know, there's no questions about that. And I, I messed up. I did the fourth. Why did I do the fourth? Rid, Paul, the great, the fourth. It should be the ninth. Rid, Paul, the great, the ninth. God dang. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Um, and then, of course, we have Bad Kitty for Chitin, Carrots, and whatever we want to do. Uh, Dr. Claw pretty much uh, gets all the wood and, and all the fiber could, and extra rare flowers if we need it. Um, we have Biter, which is obvious, and we have Beecher, which is obvious as well. And I'm happy with how it's coming together. Um, we do need to get some more shape going on here. I feel like we need to get this back end together. Maybe look at some design potential, too. Maybe have this open air. In the back, um, well, I do have vanillas on me right now. How far down is the vanillas? Can I go? I can still go over that, right? Yes, I can. I don't know if I want that. Uh, maybe we could do some one thirds. The one thirds have a freeze design. We're using that on the Twitch series, uh, uh, extent, a lot on the the big gap, big 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 app tower we're making. Yeah, I said that. Uh, this is the other one. Let's go to the correct one, shall we? Do we have any one thirds? Okay, they call them low. Walls. Let's do. Let's do twenty for now. So hopefully, guys, been do good. I'm. You know, I've been having having some stuff go on, so that's why we m missed a couple episodes uh, being posted in time here. But we are back in line on the series. Hopefully, again, you guys enjoying what we're doing. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting some more stuff done here, along with getting some more stuff done in the world of Ark. Now, um, what we might do is end up changing some of these to something else, uh, like to break up the lines. But we have a freeze we can use here. Mr. Freeze, what are you doing? There we go. There we go. Very nice. Excellent. Looking good. Feeling great. And so this adds a nice little bit of a design feature to it you can see the development of it as we get closer to it let's turn that off um it's kind of funny how a couple of those bricks just seem not to like it i guess it's used to line up the freeze a little bit better uh so we have that on there i kind of like that that leaves a little bit of stuff happening um we should also get some, do i have any more roofs on me i do have some roofs on me can i snap this in any sort of way that's a little bit different. Probably not without doing something else. All right, so let's do this. Maybe we can add in these in the corners and line some things up, shall we? Well, let me do it here. No, it won't. Okay. Uh, so then I guess we better go ahead and start filling in something. How about we do a solid wall here and we would need a couple of thirds to make it line up. Is that right? lows yeah that's right let's do that on this side too so it's even actually let's try it from this height and that does go to our ceiling there but let's just use that for now and see how this looks i believe we can paint these tiles too if we don't like the original color going on there uh how does that look actually it's not too bad it's a little low for the back end of this. Maybe, hmm, we've got, what are these? These are vanilla ones. Okay, let's pull the vanilla ones for now. Maybe go to a half here and switch it to the cut stone. And then we need something across the top of that. Does this snap? It does snap, snap, snap to the bottom of that right there. Uh, that actually opens up a little bit differently than what we have here, which I'm fine with that. Uh, kind of to break up the back line and give it a little degree of separation here. Let's turn that back on. Your snap to this. So let's do this here and change you to stone capped. And this one we will have to hold off. Oh, no, it's, it's snapped to that, not this. Okay, good. 
So that's nice. Okay, so pop this bad boy. I'm out. Hmm. Do I have any accents on me? I have vanilla adapters. Uh, let me see. I guess now is the time I need to go ahead and toy around with this, get some more pieces built, kind of get some more ideas with that, and we'll be right back. All right, welcome back, and we do have some things done. I closed in the back here with a little bit of an angle, um, and then put these in front of it. Add, of course, we had the little things there, and add the walls on the side, and end up making a little edge on this to kind of round it out. Let's see if we can look outside the hole. Look outside the hole. There we go. So it rounded out. I'll get, actually, I gotta get rid of that ceiling up there. Let's do that. Uh, I actually need to get up top to do that. But I think what we're gonna do next is uh, bring up this this rounded signs um, or the it's not really right the angled signs. Let's say that instead because that's that's the correct answer. Um, I don't think it looked too weird because our our we our ceiling and our roof ends there, and then we have that in this slot, and then we can just finish up this with some more walls. I think will adds a little bit of a break because I didn't want um. It's not a major, like, line on it. I think it'll look... Eh, actually, that might break it up nicely. Uh, we need to do more detail work on this thing. But also, on our edges here, I think I want to come up a little bit first. And then add in something else. I don't know. We do have the elevators mod. The awesome elevators. Um, and we're probably going to throw that in there. I think what we'll do is add in this guy here. Like that. Yeah, that actually adds a nice bit of a break to it. I enjoy that. Uh, let's go to add that here as well. Um, something simple sometimes works. Don't need to have it all fancy, spanchy the whole time. Yeah, I do like the fact that it comes up like that. Now, I do kind of want these to be their own thing, too. Almost like a turret kind of style. Um, yeah, let's see here. If this ends up being the floor, do I have any triangles? Of course I don't have any triangle ceilings on me. Um, if this comes up here, maybe we can use the small windows above it. I don't know how bad that's going to look. Maybe with something like, uh, I guess if we're going to do windows, do windows. That adds a little bit, and their shape the similar. They're not as tall, but they're a similar shape. Let's go over here, throw these ones down. There we go. Because I want these to be a little bit raised. I don't want them to be taller than that peak, though. So let's let's do an, a little bit more of an accent here. Uh, we have the third walls, or the low walls, so to speak. Let's put them on four and put this like that to give it its final approach. And structure variance, the freeze. Hope I can get this right. Menu right there, bam. The freeze. And then this one to freeze. And then I do have a pillar here to bring up. And we got to figure out. I can, actually, I can, once we get the ceiling up on this, I can layer it down below the ceilings. Um, I think that'll look okay. And we can make these like little temporary landing pad areas for our guys. I do need to grab some triangle ceilings right quick. Let's go down here. Move that. There we go. All right, so let's see here. There we go. And then we'll take you and go over here. And we might be able to work in the accents as well. So let's get this one done first on the bottom floor, on this floor here. And again, we can work in the awesome elevators with this. There's a snap that I want. And can you make it rotate? Yeah, it will rotate too. Um, it did it a second ago. Why, why you know? Why you know? Snap differently. There it is. There it is. Okay, cool. That's what I wanted. Now with here, we're gonna try to bring this up. We'll use this one as the first one, and then can I see the lines on this guy? I really, it's hard to tell. It's rounded. I'd rather have it straight with this guy. All right, let's get on you. Maybe it'll give me the angle of the dangle that we need to see. Actually, I can probably get on the side of this. It reaches long enough. It just I need to be able to see the grid on top. Uh, I need to be able to see the grid on top. <laughs> oh, there it was. There it is. It's, it's up. And I can't tell. It looked like it was, but, you know, this is arc. There we go. Okay, excellent. So now I can just bring out these guys, and we can put walls coming down from the tops of the ceiling to keep the roundedness going on. Like this, and then we can bring down the thirds. 
and this breaks up our line some um and we won't do windows on this section we'll do walls and then i gotta get a doorway for in here this way we have a nice little entrance way in here and since we have a ceiling up here i'm hoping we can force this guy to come in there all right since we don't have that happening do i have the glass i do have glass on me so let's do this i'm going to throw in a metal ceiling a glass ceiling on the edge of this Come on, baby. Don't make me take it all. Okay, I gotta take it down. That's fine. It's fine. But this way, it really does not like to snap to those, so I guess we have to do this. And then take you up, and then this should snap to the edge of that. There we go. So now I should be able to put that there, and then snap one below it. And then it might have a little bit of a layered look, but it's better than... Wow, I've not had that happen before. Holy crap! Why you gotta be like this, man? Let's make it making it difficult. Let's do this then. Actually, we can use this one to add a snap to go right here. Remove you and remove you. And now it should be, because it's in the center of it, it should work. Should is a very powerful word. There we go. Okay, that worked out. And I'd still need to run the pillars up on the edges like I was gonna do all the way. Okay. That's great. Come here. Come here, Birdie. We got work to do. We ain't got time to sit around and do nothing. Now, for the edging on this, too, around the edges, I do want to use one of the nice fancy things and then bring the fancy things around into the build. Hopefully, we can work that out. And then on the edges of this... Oops. Sorry. Sorry, Birdie. I, I confused you. Maybe we ought to go with a square end or something. Hmm... Let me get some of the math and the the, 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 the moss, whatever, the, the edging, <laughs> craft it up and put it up, and we'll see what it looks like, and we'll come right back. Okay, welcome back, and I got them up, and it looks pretty good. Uh, it's, it, I'm going to have them end on that end there, and then it comes around and stops right here, too. We're kind of limited on what we can do with these. I don't think there's any 90s or little corner pieces anymore yet. The thing that I don't like is that... Uh, we, we kind of, I like how they come through here and hold up the roof, but when I do it on the inside to continue the line, it doesn't really look good over certain parts of it. Can I reach from here? If I get on you, can I reach from there? Let me get on you, buddy. Let me get, thank you, kitty. Thank you. Yeah. You, as you can see, like that is, it's, eh, I'm not a fan. Let's just say that. I'm not really a fan. That's not really... If I did it, I'd want to do it almost... Well, it could look like supports on that side. So if I did it, I'd want to do it all the way around. Oh, I'm missing a floor there. I forgot. Oops. <laughs> Let's put this here. Come on. Come on, baby. Yeah, that looks kind of lame. And I, oh, I doubt I can put a ceiling uh, of pillar up the middle of that, but we might be able to force it in there. Okay, so if I do this here, and then take this here, place it there, and then put this like that. Alright, and, and then it should snap right in the middle of it. And then we can hide you, if it lets me E you. Let me E you. Okay, do I have a model gun on me? I don't. Let's make a model gun. Model, yeah, hopefully I'm close enough. Oh yeah, our, our little... Our theory apparently has one some thatch on them, so we're okay. So no side it. I don't mind that that much, other than it's sticking out right there. Maybe we should put it down one lower. Oops, I hit the ceiling. My bad. My bad. Wasting mats. All right, let's put this here. Put that there. Let's grab you. Let's grab you, and then do it like this. Now, are we going to be able to see that through there? If not, then I had the... Oops, wrong guy. I thought... Was, for some reason, I was thinking Birdie was right there. It wasn't because there wasn't... Okay. I think this might stick through the top, and that would look bad. It does. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to do that. Uh, I could layer it down. Well, I could probably add the layering down here. If I did it right... All right, and that would break it, wouldn't it? 
No, it didn't. There's a wall there. So if we did a layering here on the top of stuff like this. It's going to act like a fool now. Fine, 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 fine. We'll do this then. Uh, bring this one right here and then give it a side snap. Uh, if it would just snap sideways into... There we go. That's what we need. So maybe we could just do this. Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's do this. There we go. Oh, it's offset. Oh my god. I hate it when it goes like that. It's Will you do any type of sides? You did do that one. Can I use you to make sure it snaps correctly? Yeah, I figured that would happen. The things we do for science. Come on, man. All right, fine. Layer there and then snap this one here. Oh my God, it doesn't want to go in there. I don't want to. I feel like uh, that's going to mess with it. If I there too much, and it'll be hard to snap it back, but we'll try. There's that. Now let's go here. Yeah, it did. When I put you back in, we'll add the snap in. Whoops, I got to do this first. Okay, that looks better. And then, will let me snap you back in the hole? It will. It went down again. Some of these snaps, man, I'm trying to make them work. Oh my god, are you serious? Let me go down. We need to start making some of the elevators too to make this trans the transitions over a little bit easier. So if I put this, that's going to be a really a lot of things going on in there. Oh, is it because I need the roof up there? Maybe it's the roof that it's, it's snapping to. That's interesting. If I put the roof in and it snaps to it, that's a new, it's new, and it's pretty cool because then that would force a new snap into it to allow us to do some other manipulations for things. If we just need to do an offset, we could throw a roof in. No, it's not the roof. Is that? Yeah, it needs to be up higher. Okay. Well, there we have that. Um, back over to this side before we, we do anything else. Um, let's remove these again. Not you. You. I don't necessarily hate it like that. It's just this side that I don't care for looking like this. Maybe we can make this a bigger room or something. Will that kind of help with the transitions? So that's making it look like it needs to go all the way around like that. So if I remove these ones here, uh, then, then it makes the other ones not necessary either. Well, I'm just going to remove them then, and maybe we'll find something else we can do with the spot. Instead of having to worry about all that edging. Because it just, it just seems like right now with what we have to work with, it's not really going to work well. I figured that was going to happen. It's just, it was just one, it was just one, one pillar. It's okay. Everything's fine. It's fine. So over here, let's go ahead and make these guys invisible. Model, no signs. Let's go over here. Model, no signs. There we go. Let's go ahead and grab you. And that one's already filled in. And now we'll snap these guys in the hole. We need the one third first. The low one. There we go. And then we'll grab you. And then I want to change all these to the freeze. That one's a freeze. Okay, that one here. Freeze. Freeze. So all those are now a freeze. And that adds a little bit of stuff up there. And how much does this cover that when we do this? Oh, it reaches down kind of low over the keep doorway. That kind of sucks. <laughs> huh. Hmm. 
Maybe we need to get some battlements then and use those old school, the regular looking ones and try that out just to kind of edge it out some. Um, because that overhang over it, I mean, we, well, we could do a vanilla adapter and snap it to that, but it would raise it up. Let's just see. Uh, vanilla adapter. And then they're on my number eight. Let's try that out. So we have you. It wants to snap even higher now with a vanilla adapter. That's interesting. Now what we could do, which we're going to try now, is grab a glass uh, half wall. Uh, because these things will snap to it too. And the glass half walls typically do not break any of the CKFR pieces. And we can make glass half walls disappear. So we can use that for offsets, which is really nice. So let's do glass half wall here. Let's do 10 of them because that's usually the magic number. In case I break a bunch. Let's grab you, put you here in that spot. Let's get back up here. And I'll do the elevators later. Let's slide on over here. And see how this works out. And the reason why I'm showing some of this too, guys, I've had people ask if I'd show like the, the the mental process while building, like what kind of what we're we're thinking of and how we come about it. And that's why some of these I'm kind of doing this with it, just to see. Okay, so that one doesn't want to snap there, right? Let's put you right inside, and see what that does if it raises it at all. It did a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna have to work out a, an offset to make this thing happen. Um. So we'll remove, this one's going to break if I don't remove it. Remove that. So what we need to do is use maybe a half. You go like this. Oops, I can't do that. We'll go like this. And I give it a fake support. And then go here, and that raises it up some more. Now, let's pull out you and you and you. Let's put back in the... We'll see where the snap's at on that height. It still wants to go up like that. Hmm, this is definitely a little bit of a challenge. I'm down for the challenge, but... And if we do that and we put another one of these... And make you a uh, freeze. Because I like how it comes out some. It's the fact is that we would have to do all those like that. Do I, I got regular triangles from the CKFR we can use. Do I, ha I have this I can use for a ramp? We should have the invisible. Well, that should work. I should be able to get up there still. So let's use this to add the snap to the glass. Here. Is it not? Okay, it does. It'll work. It'll work. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. It goes there, but it won't go on this side. <laughs> no, it won't. <laughs> oh, it figures. It figures, man. We're trying to get something going here, and it's not working with us. I know that was going to happen. It's not working with us. Okay, so I'm going to try and get this thing to go around. We'll clean it up some more. We'll come back and finish up some more pieces. So you all, hold on. All right, work has been done. Work has been done and completed up here. We have our lovely double towers going on here, and I did a bigger room for this. So we can see the loveliness outside, and I got the other side done as well. So now we have two sides complete with the tops on them. And it's different, but I don't mind it. It's a stable um, I wanted to toy around with how different shapes could be used together, and I think it's a good one. Like, from down here, it looks pretty nice. Still need to get more walls and things done. But I have an idea for the back. I've already grabbed the pieces. I thought it'd be kind of cool to put, like, a circular wall thing in here. If it'll let me do it. Will you let me do it? Can I do it? And then put the tops on it, too. Well, let me get up there. No, I have to fly up there. And put the tops on it and have, like, a nice little circular hole <laughs> on the very top this lets everything waft out that's um not necessarily of smelling qualities that we would prefer to well smell 
Um, let's do that there and there. Yeah, I think that'll look okay. Do I have any? I have a couple gables. That's pretty cool. Um, now on the uh, Svalbane Saval server with the eternal stuff we're doing, I did use force fields in these, and they look really nice. Uh, when we get that build done, I will, I'll do a video on it and share it with you guys. But um, I think we'll just keep the, the same motif going on and fill this up with the fancy fences. Yeah, I'm not mad at that. There we go. That works out for me. Now something could come along and destroy that. It looks like something snapped weird on the top to on the right. Let's try that again. It's this side that did it weird. There we go. Don't want to have to keep making these again and again. There's an up and a down one. And that one went down again. Oh my god, it's going to do this thing? Thank you, Ark. I appreciate you. That one did it right. Oh my god. They're all offset. <laughs> I'll clean that up here in a minute on my own. Uh, you guys know how I am. Uh, I'll fix that. Uh, we do need to get some more gables for these little corners, too. And the, it looks like the back end will be closed up, at least. And then we need to get the front worked up. Also still need to do detail work on the inside. I'd like to use some of the scaffolding from the original CKF inside of it to kind of give it some more of a good feels. The good feels, yo. Do I have any gables made? I do not. Let's make some. Let's, hopefully, I have this stuff. I've been burning through some mats here. Four. Here. Four. Here. Let's go up inside of here. And I end up having to use third walls to raise up the walls to be at the right height to meet up with the roof line. So there's a couple discrepancies here and there with the, with the textures. But, I mean, that's how they're snapping. So there's not much I can do about that. Um, let's go here. There we go. And then get these guys up. Now, there are overhangs for the bottoms of roofs, too. I wish there was overhangs for the edges as well, but uh, we don't have that luxury, and I don't really want to do an offset because the, the layering of how these textures will look will look kind of bad, and we don't want that. Um, I think we just need to put some windows in the back here, and I would say this is close to there. I still have some pillars to run down here and there, but generally it's coming together. Now, the front, we might just keep it simple and just do these guys uh, at least mostly. Maybe we'll just have them facing forward. That might look okay. Yeah, I kind of like that because we have so much air and window stuff going on here that I think this will at least break it up some. And I didn't finish up those pillars either. God dang it. We'll get to that. I'll do that. I got that. It's, it's that's, that's on me. It's on me. I'm going to make you guys suffer through it. <laughs> We already showed the process of doing that, so. Um, and then you're here. And these will end up being side doors in and out. And they're offset from each other, but that's fine. Um, it's following the wall, uh, the actual future wall line. I might switch it up and move the wall over. Um, or initially, it was made to match up with how this one kind of goes. So there's a nice square line going on. Uh, but uh, with the addition of this, I think we're going to end up making our walled area a little bit bigger like maybe out to here because i still need to be able to handle bigger dinos once we start taming them and get them inside here so i'm, I'm happy with that is it actually enclosed except for the doors now let's go grab the windows i want to get the windows and we gotta get windows and doors and that, that way we can make it look snazzy jazzy also i'm gonna grab some scaffolding too it's just over there i love how we have all the rooms set up kind of like this one's here that one's there i have 30 windows already made we have eight of those we're gonna need more windows so there's that one. Let's do let's do 18 because I felt like that was the number. And then doors. We have a couple doubles. Okay, we only have one single, so we need to pull a bunch. Let's do one of those because we have two of those upstairs. And let's do several of these so I don't have to count. And then we'll grab the rest of them. And I'm still not over encumbered, so that's good. Wrong game. Um, let's put this here, 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 and here. And there again, there's more detail work that could be done. Let's get the scaffolding together. I forgot that doesn't like to do that. Wait, I'm in the wrong one. That's why. Where are you at? Right there. All right. So uh, let's make let's make 20 of these. And let's pull enough for 20 of... Well, they won't really count for 20. Let's do 21. 
22, 23, there's 10. Oh, 15. Okay, we'll make that work. And this, we can use these kind of maybe to add some details inside. Um, oh, we also need some keep doors too. Uh, it should be gates, I believe. Yeah. I will try out two mediums and one large. I'm starting to get the weight stacking up on me. I, th I think I have enough to carry it all, though. Oh, my God. This takes a while. Yeah, the I There was not an I and I option in the original CKF to speed up the crafting of mats. So that's why this is taking a little while. Let's get eight of these and rock and roll. And then. And then. There we go. All right, cool. So let's get out here. And first off, let's get these lovely windows in the holes. There's those windows, and we have some back here that weren't placed yet. Hello? No. There we go. Okay, those windows are in. Beautifulness. Let's go ahead and add the arch way here with the door oh the wind the door oh, there was a door right there bam the door oh we have these windows to place up to crap i forgot my bad uh let's press e so those windows are in which is nice now um i still need to install elevators too to get upstairs and i feel like that space up top with the hole in it might be pretty cool to put like you know Maybe a lander area for smaller flyers or something. That might be kind of cool. And then we'll add in our windows. Nice. I'm happy about that. If I Okay, there we go. I was about to say, I better be able to close those things. Let's run over here. Let's put the windows in first. And I am out of windows, so I need to make more windows. At least we have... Whoa. Oh, it snapped up high. I was like, what? what is happening? That's because I was stupid with how I placed it. Okay, there we go. That's done. Okay, so those, hole, those holes are filled. We still need to get some more windows for the back for the flappy doors. And I do like the fact that we don't have all glass on here. There's like closed windows and then the front larger windows. And now let's try out these. I don't know if this will really visually appeal me to me exactly but we'll see i might actually want to end up filling that in with something else to make it like have some sort of difference in here and we need a design going across the front of this this is kind of boring maybe we could use accents and a freeze or something on that nice plenty of room to maneuver in too i'm, I'm cool with that very nice. So the inside is actually almost fully enclosed. Inside is now actually fully enclosed now with little areas. I like that. Uh, there is a couple of touches I'd like to get in here. Um, but inside of this is where I was thinking it'd be really cool if we could put some freestanding arches. All right. So to do that, I'm going to have to make some uh, more of the scaffolding, but a different kind. So we'll go in here, go to structure, scaffold, and we'll can take these guys, and this will add us nice open air tops to it as we wait. Okay, we got our other pieces. Let's go back here now and add them in. Hopefully it'll snap nicely for us, and it might not. It does not like those snaps. You have got it. Oh, there it is. So hopefully this will make it snap here. Okay, well, okay. Let's put one down here, see if it snaps on that. Okay, it's willing to snap up there briefly. Let's do these ones. I want them to snap central it's like together these are a little bit different sized is it above or below oh, that one's below okay so this one actually needs to go up one all these extra snap points really add a lot of fun to the build if you guys didn't realize all 
There we go. We got that one in. Let's go over here and raise you up now. It doesn't like that right now. Okay, we'll add another one here. Here. And here. And it has a ga gap right here, so that's not going to... Exactly. Marrow yourself, man. Maybe we can keep it at, on threes. I just want to see how this looks with these placed in here. To give it some, some flavor. Because, you know, we like flavor here. One, two, three, and then there. And then this one is off by one. So, actually, we got to get you to snap in here. Come on, man. Don't don't be don't be that scaffolding. Be be good scaffolding. You know you want to. Oh, these probably will stick outside the front of the roof too. This might not work then. <sighs> there we go. Now I gotta somehow magically hit up this one. I can go outside and check it too before we, we say it's it's there. Because I have a feeling they are sticking out, so that might not work for this section. I'm able to force some things together, but when you get in tight areas like that, you really don't have room for too many offsets. And that was good. Okay. All right, so we have these ones. Do I have the accents on me? Because this might cover it up and adds. We already tried this, didn't we? It does cover it up, though. Did we try this out? No, we tried a taller wall. That actually isn't bad, and it breaks it up. Uh, where's our center pieces? They're here. So what if we come off the center over one and change this to the diamond? Then come off the center and over one. Just to kind of add some nice little variances to the design. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And that did cover up our scaffolding so we could leave that on the inside. Okay, that's neat. That's neat. I'm down with that. So let's go over here and back inside. And look at this again. It's a tad bit different color. We have an opening here, which isn't going to work. I'm hoping we can force the snap in here again. There is a middle point. Okay. And it's going to be hell trying to get it to go in there. It didn't do it. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm going to remove this one here. Oops, that was the wrong one to remove, but whatever. It's fine. So if we did that one on its own snap. Hmm. Can we put a double placement of the arches here? This actually looks bad on these sections unless we put a pillar or something and i really don't want to go through that and there's the gaps in there huh i'm gonna have to work this out then to look a little bit cleaner and when you're passing through you don't notice it but then i know and that's that's a problem <laughs> uh this one here will use the stone arches no we can't because it's on the offset on that we might have to actually use pillars then to kind of give it some dressings dressing ups now in these rooms too i'm wondering if we can do that It doesn't want me to do that. Why not? Uh, 
the snaps are not with me today. I should bring snaps out here and not snaps and see if it helps out with my luck. It does not like me at all. <laughs> well, then maybe not with that. We can come up with a different ceiling for this, too. I'm hoping this really hits the scaffolding instead. Okay. Okay, good. Huh. And we still need to make stall covers in the fronts, too, and stuff. But, you know, we got a lot of stuff done today. Uh, I'm already pushing my time pretty hard. I'm going to edit it down and still more than that. And I'll, I'll do the rest of the stuff off camera to bring it together. Um, I hate to devote any more time to just this individual build, but at least we have the exterior looking right. Um, it needs a little more detail work. It needs some more stuff like that. But at least we have a safe place for our gathering dinos. Um, and we might, again, make uh, something that might be kind of cool to have that as actually a place to land flyers. And I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. But either way, let me know what you think down in the comments down below. And as always, thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.